Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Funky Akinele Pillow steps and finally speaks. And he confirms that yes, he was indeed expelled. This was the short video that he made and shared on his official social media platform. In his words, yes, I did get expelled. I mean, that did pick me up. Whilst he was driving, he began to start shouting at me. And I could only just say sorry and try to defuse the thing. He slapped me first. You know we've all been slapped, you know? Shit happens. And then the slap turns into punches. And then the school security gets, who are both 10 to 15, that you're just there. We're trying to hold my dad back. And he just kept punching and punching and punching me. It's kept on becoming worse and worse. And I see there as I just started getting blood coming out of my head. And I tried to leave, he grabbed my tie. I started choking me and kept on punching me on my head. Through all of that, the security were trying to hold him. As you guess what exactly happened before his father started punching him. He saw Celia had contacted the blogger that she was an insider. I was going to give the blogger Tosin Silver then information about what had transpired. This was after Benito came online to slander from Kakindele. This was exactly what the person shared with the blogger, Tosin Silver them. Hi Tosi, it's important you save this page, a fake page, but note that I will be giving you updates from time to time. I choose to talk to you because you're not two-faced and you did talk am as a DP. Note I'm an inside, I still work with them, so note that everything I tell you now confirm. Concerning your last post on Benito, aka Prince of Sin One TV, as they call himself, commenting about Mrs. Wonka Kendele Bilo, I must say honestly that I'm surprised at such comments from a boy who has continuously been a drug addict, Molly, since 11, was taken from the UK on emergency because of attempted rape on his classmates. He was then enrolled into Lucky British International School, where he failed woefully. He certainly wouldn't like Jennifer, as she does not like such bad behavior. Is it because she has a name and a brand to protect? Accepted, Mrs. Funke Akindele is strict. She's a worker alcoholic, a stickler for perfection. She doesn't owe her staff. Yes, she did shout. She did para, but has a heart of gold. Benito then put her for Green Springs and was expelled this end of term, April 3, 2022. As he got drunk and gave her call to his classmates, with them all high. They call him Papa. How my Papa beat him so they all in high swell. Go and watch video of him and him Papa in the plane. Go see, say in face swell. All this info gets received. I will keep giving you more gist. And now Funke Stepson himself has come out to confirm that indeed he was expelled from school. His mother had earlier shared some hospital reports where she had accused her baby dad, Funke's husband, of putting their son in the hospital and assaulting him. And then she also went ahead to demand public apology from Funke and her husband and many people are asking why exactly is she dragging Funke into this whole case since it was his father who beat up his son as it is before getting married to Funke JJC already had three kids with three different baby mamas he got married to Funke in 2016 and these two welcomed their set of twins in 2018 so in total he has five kids and for the first three kids he has two boys and a girl in fact, one of the baby mamas, the other baby mama, the first one, came out to support Funke and her husband just some days ago and she noted that they are rightly behind them. Once Benito's mom and Benito keeps dragging Funke and her husband on social media platforms. For more background information on this case, please stay with us. About a week ago, we saw it in the news. Funke Akindele and her husband JJ Siski's marriage reportedly on fire. Their marriage is going through hard times to the extent that Funke, reacting in anger, verbally told JJC, Leave my house. Sources present when the heated argument happened at Amen Estate quoted Funke saying, Oko Womije, when they tried coming out down. Our sources told us Funke had boldly accused Abdul of scoundrel money, which he did not agree to, as the owner of the company. We are not sure if this has anything to do with the apartment Abdul allegedly rented some in Lagos. Excuses left Lagos or London, maybe to cool down, and also give his darling wife some space to calm down. A London sources close to Skews have also said that Skews sorted to plan B because Funke has in control, 
which Abdul has been tolerating all these years, but it keeps getting worse. At this moment, all is not perfectly well between Baba Jibeji and Yabich. Then after this news was spread, we got more information on what exactly was going on. And this is how it was reported. More on the below's tiny issues. From reliable sources in London, JJC has said before joining Funke in Nigeria, the couple had an initial understanding that C1 production would be family business with Funke and Abdul as certified owners and be run by both parties. Also, aside their production campaign, both Funke and Abdul would be allowed to work on private jobs as well. But after joining his better half, Funke never stopped behaving and making it clear that C1 production is our own. I would only let JJC have a decent amount of money without having to explain himself. And even at that, Funke has to see it as reasonable. Funke at least provocation will scream in a goodly manner even when third parties are around. Funke will freely take on private jobs, but when it comes to skills, being approached for other jobs, which has no affiliation with their company, Funke will mostly come up with an excuse why skills can't and shouldn't take on the job. Mostly pointing at protecting a man from industry people. Undoubtedly, a good family, but also money has to be made, so maybe a bad business idea. Skills undoubtedly love his wife, but the conditions were mostly not comforting, considering the fact that he has other kids who also sometimes depend on him financially as their father. Our sources in Lagos revealed that the property Abdul rented was probably for his older kids to live comfortably when they come visiting their father in Nigeria anytime. Abdul only gets to spend time with the kids when Funke says so. Well, also, also, as he got the money, they said JJC took some money without their mutual agreement. Hence, when Funke found out about their own accounted millions of error, so it's not too extreme as for what they make together as a couple. She got upset and the whole thing started. Then Funke said, Leave my house. As people were talking about this development and different blogs were reporting on this issue, then Funke stepped down. Benito commented on one of the blogs and accused Funke of being horror to live with, and he stated that she is not what people think she is. And right after this, we got to hear about his own story that the insider source claimed that he had been expelled from school and was also into drugs. Then his mother came into the picture and started saying that Funke and her husband were trying to cover up for their own marital issue by putting her son's business on the internet. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.